So let's start by identifying the original, which we can see that the triangle on the upper right. Notice that there is no prime on top of the letters. That's an indicator that this is a triangle that we start with. The triangle on the left, they have primes on it. So that should be the location after one transformation was applied. So now let's think about what was the transformation that was applied to go from the triangle on the right to the triangle on the left. So it's definitely not a translation because notice that C, it's on the top on the right triangle and C, it's on the left on the right triangle. We have changed their position. So translation, it's out of the question. And reflection is not as well because notice that B, it's on the right and the triangle on the left, B is not on the left, but actually it's in the top. So a reflection, it's out of the question as well. So how about we think about rotation? Because notice that it kind of seems like there was a rotation. C, if we kind of rotate it counterclockwise, it kind of lands at this position. And B, if we kind of rotate it counterclockwise, it kind of lands at this position. And A, if we rotate it counterclockwise, so this is a clear indicator that there was some kind of rotation involved. But we need to be specific. We need to indicate how many degrees did we rotate it? Let's look at the coordinate points. So if we concentrate at point B, notice that the coordinate point 6, 3, it became negative 3, 6. So they kind of switch position and then we change the x value. And that also goes for coordinate point C. It was 4, 7, and then it became negative 7, 4. So it's the same behavior. We switch locations, and then we change the new value of x. Then notice that that is the rule when we rotate 90 degrees when the center of rotation is at the origin. Any coordinate point x, y. The image is negative y, comma, x. So we have identified the first transformation. It is a transformation of a rotation of 90 degrees. So now let's think about what needs to happen for the upper left triangle to land exactly on the bottom triangle for us to identify the second transformation. If we take a look into terms of orientations, notice that A prime and A double prime are the bottom right hand side, B prime and B double prime are on the upper right hand side, C prime and C double prime are on the left hand side. So notice that there's no change in orientation. This is an indicator that there is a translation. Let's identify that translation. From A prime to go to A double prime, notice that we're going eight units down and one unit to the left. The movement from C prime to C double prime, it's also the same. Eight units down and one unit to the left. And that also occurs for B prime to B double prime. Eight units down and one unit to the left. Because the whole triangle had the same movement, then we can say that there was a translation of eight units down and one unit to the left. So we have identified ball transformation. Let's express this using the correct notation. First, a rotation of 90 degrees. And then we follow by a translation on one unit to the left and eight units down. So we are done. Here we have our symbol of composition. And on the right hand side of that symbol, we have our first transformation. And on the left-hand side of the symbol, we have our second transformation. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.